Starting your own business and taking control of your control control of your con career can be a little frightening for some of us. So Startup Grind Jacksonville can alleviate those fears. They are holding their monthly meeting this Friday. Chapter Director Teresa W. Gamble is here, along with Tia Aker, who is going to be the keynote speaker for this particular event. So thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. All right, so Teresa, let's start with you. You have your own business that you started up due to circumstances beyond your control. What is your business? It is CRPC Consulting. I'm a strategic engagement expert for entrepreneurs. And so you started because you, there was like layoffs or something and you yes. were kind of out and you decided to take control. Yes, I wanted to use my skill sets in more of a fashion to help me generate revenue from what I've learned and acquired from education and working in corporate America. Now, Tia, she calls you the podcast guru. <laughs> so what exactly is your business? Well, actually, I own Ebony and Ivory Professional Services, and a part of that, I established a Get Notice podcast where we're helping people in the different areas of business understand how to formulate business and, in addition, earn extra income. And so I realized over the course of a year that you can actually utilize and establish more income through the use of podcasts. Nine million people are listening to podcasts every single day. So it's an opportunity to expand your business. Note to self. <laughs> now, why do you think people are now taking on the initiative to start their own businesses and become entrepreneurs? A lot of times it's because they're not getting paid what they're worth in corporate America. Corporate America dictates what your salary is. But if you're an entrepreneur and you package yourself right, take your skill sets, and monetize them in a way that it solves a problem and not for monetary gain, then you can write your own salary to not only take care of your business, but pay yourself the salary you deserve. Oh, is this something what people will learn when they come to your monthly meetings and some of your other events? Yes, every month we trying to be recreative because we relaunching the chapter. It was in existence two years ago. So with all the resources I get from Google, um, from Silicon Valley, from the Google Startup Academy in London, I'm trying to bring that information to Jacksonville to help entrepreneurs work smarter and not harder and not invest in so much bootstrapping their business. And podcasting is one of the ways they can do it by monetizing their voice. Right. Tia, Explain that aspect of things. I mean, I, people are like, oh, well, if I'm just in my house making this podcast, who's going to listen? How do I monetize? Now, are you going to be giving <laughs> notes on this? at the? So you don't have to give the full speech, but give me a little bit of tidbit. Well, we actually, can... that's why we decided to do the collaboration, because podcasting plus pitching equals yes. profits. I don't want someone to mislead and understand that they can just make a podcast in their house and they can just say, I made a podcast and I'm on here. You have to be able to pitch that to businesses, to other people that you want to support. What I did when I started the podcast, I started sharing it. And once I retrieved my first station, was uh, iTunes. So I shared that with everyone. And then from iTunes, it became Pocket Cast, Spotify, Tidal. And then that's when they said, hey, can you do some voiceovers for us? But if I wasn't in the pitching aspect, yes. I wouldn't have been able to do the voiceover. All I would have had was, oh, I did this podcast in my room, and now I don't know what to do with it. So we're teaching people how to capitalize off of subject matters, and we're already holding a conversation, so why not get paid for that? But you have to be able to pitch it correctly in order for the profits to come. So it's one step, two step, three step. Yes. <laughs> but we can't just dive in and oh, just no, splash in money. No, That's, no. Okay, right. good to know. So, you know, <laughs> there is some work involved, people. You yes. can't just roll out and like, hey, I'm famous. I got money. Right. <laughs> so these are some notes that people can uh, learn about this Friday. Is this open to everybody? Yes, it's open to anybody. Um, if you fail, have a, I'd say, if you're a subject matter expert or you do something well that somebody else doesn't do, but everybody's always asking your advice, always asking your opinion. This event you need to be at so you can take that knowledge and monetize it and we help you structure it to pitch it because the language is important too when you're pitching it so you can get that audience to turn that likes, those hearts, those tags into profits. All right, so the Startup Grind Jacksonville monthly meeting will be held Friday night from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at the Jacksonville Zoo in the Samba Room. You can register at startupgrind.com slash Jacksonville. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. Thank you, Thank you. Good luck. We'll have more River City Live right after this.